Almazera employees and cabinet ministers could see a large chunk of their salaries deferred amid the COVID-19 pandemic. That's according to Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis, who told Parliament on Thursday that the government will have to make a decision on whether to continue paying Bahamas Air workers their full salaries as the national airline continues to operate on a reduced schedule. And at some point in time, we would have to make a decision whether, I'm not saying we're doing that now, but at some point in time, we have to make a decision where the Bahamas Air staff who are sitting there, and the aircrafts that are sitting there, should we pay them a percentage of their pay, let's say 70%, and defer the other 30 until things have changed. The remaining 30 percent of those salaries would be deferred until the economy rebounds. The PM added that he had informed the cabinet that if such a decision is made, they should also be prepared for their salaries to be impacted. That should we make such a decision in terms of deferring a percentage of individuals' salary, that they are all prepared to defer a portion of theirs also in the interest of the country. On Sunday, just weeks after Bahamas Air resumed flights to the United States, the Prime Minister ordered that those flights end immediately. It is unclear how long the order will be in place. Bahamas Air officials have reported millions of dollars in losses since March. Reporting for Guardian News Network, I'm Jasmine Brown.